This is a quick look at two different ways to use Pirate to crack WPA pre-shared key. I'm using two backtrack machines in a client server configuration and a MySQL database. If you need help setting any of this up, have a look at my written tutorial. First, this is the config file for the client. The server has a base config, but it is also pointing at the MySQL database. Next I'm going to set up the wireless access point. We'll uh, keep the SSID visible for now. Password is capital P, at sign, dollar sign, five, lowercase w, zero, lowercase r, capital D. First method of using Pirate is to build a database of pre computed PMKs. This can be done without capturing WPA handshake as long as you know the SSID. Then you can use the database afterwards to attack a handshake much more quickly. So in order to do this, first I'm going to build a word list that has the passphrase in it. You can download this script from the tutorial. You can see that the database already has some passwords in it. We'll import the word list. And then batch process it. Once this SSID is finished, we're going to add a couple more. And this is just to show you can start and stop the batch processing at any time. Pirate will just pick up where it left off. Now that we have a database with some PMKs in it, we can capture a handshake. We'll use arrow dump to see the access points that are within range. You can only do this if you're not already connected to an access point. See our lab network access point. We now use AeroDump to monitor the target access point and it will grab a handshake as soon as a client authenticates. This works about 90% of the time anyway. To speed the process up, we use AirPlay to force clients to de authenticate. Now that we have a capture file, we can attack it with the database. The 
second method is to first capture a handshake and then feed Pirate a word list directly. I'm going to hide the SSID of the network this time, just to prove that it has no security related benefits at all. The SSID will be revealed when we capture a handshake. The new password is 0017 lowercase c 69 lowercase b. So I'll recapture the handshake using the same process as before. You can see that we can no longer see the lab network SSID but we can still see the wireless network. Keep in mind that you can only capture a handshake if there's a client attached to the access point. I'm using my cell phone as a client. There you can see the SSID lab now. Now I'm going to use a script I wrote to feed a crunch list directly into Pirate without writing it to my hard drive. Crunch list is all lowercase hex digits and passphrase could have 8 to 16 characters. This list would be much too large to fit on my hard drive. But luckily, the password is near the beginning. So that's how you use Pirate. To protect your own wireless network from this kind of attack, use a long and complex passphrase. And check out my written tutorial for more information.